So, who um, so who runs this program? I guess you would run it, right? And like yeah, whoever the student council sponsor is okay. runs it. So okay, and then like, how is our entire school involved with it? This year, not so much, other than um, going to the dance and paying admission, and you know the money that we get from fundraisers like that. Um, last year, of course, we were more involved because we had more things going on at school. This year, it's mostly funded by that uh, donation from that uh, beauty shop in Texas that gave us nine hundred dollars. So. Okay. okay. How many years have you been the supervisor of the student council? And how many years? Well, okay, yeah. I'm I'm thinking it's about fifteen, but I'm not for sure. I've lo I've lost count. It's anywhere from twelve to fifteen. Long time. Okay. Um, what is your favorite part about this event? Watching you guys shop, <laughs> and because you take you take it to heart. And, and you stretch that dollar as far as you can stretch it, and you get good stuff. And uh, I, I like that. You guys are like mature adults for an hour and a half. <laughs> okay. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this year's student council and how you raised the money? Oh, well, you already told us how you raised the money, but um, tell us a little bit about this year's student council. Well, this, this year's student council, again, because of everything being topsy-turvy after the storm, and us changing to a new location. We've had to change some of the things that we wanted to do. Uh, because, of, for example, we, we don't have the concession stands available like we would to, to normally raise money. And um, I think what we're going to try to do when we come back from Christmas is set up as many programs as we can as fundraisers and as community service. Okay, that's good. Um, so what impact does this event have on others, like on the kids? Like, we we don't really know. I mean, mm -hmm. because we don't give the toys out. There's a confidentiality problem. We don't. We, we're not supposed to know who the toys go to. Um, but I know the fire department is extremely thankful that we do this. In fact, normally we call them every year to let them know when we're doing it. This year they called us to say, when are you doing it? Because they expect us to do it now. And uh, it, it's, a big part of their, it's a big part of their program. Okay. Um, and then, um, what have you done in the past years to fundraise for this event? Like, had, what are some projects? Well, we've had the Penny Wars. Uh, one year we actually had a car wash. We didn't raise much money, but we had a car wash. Um, Concessions, we've done the 50-50 at basketball games. Um, just begging for money sometimes. <laughs> sometimes corporate sponsors have given us money also. Okay. And then, um, do you have any other questions, Amy? No, I think you covered it most of it. I, I, think, I, think, I think we covered it too. So. Thank you so much, Mr. Warriors. Runs this program, I guess.